Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining flat 4 or boxer 4 engines. Uh, sometimes they're also called H4 engines. Um, and so the reason they get this flat 4 name um, is because the engine lays flat and the cylinders uh, are laying flat, uh, horizontal to the ground. Um, and so what that looks like uh, is you've got your pistons kind of moving back and forth and that's why it gets the boxer name. It's kind of like two boxers fists uh, with the pistons. And so there's different ways to do this. Um, you don't necessarily have to have them uh, look like a boxer where it's both coming in and then the other two going out. Uh, but that's the one that I'm going to be kind of explaining in this video. So what it's going to look like if you're looking down at the engine, you've got cylinders 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, and your firing order is going to be 1, 3, 2, 4. So this cylinder, this cylinder, then this cylinder, and then this cylinder. Um, and so that's done to kind of balance out all of the forces. So if you're looking at the pistons themselves uh, within this engine, this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you're going to have two, uh, these two cylinders one and two, and those are going to be moving together in unison, balancing each other out. And then you're going to have cylinders three and four moving uh, apart and together at the same time. So those two forces are going to be balanced out. So you've got your primary and your secondary forces, uh, just like in the uh, engine balance videos that I've explained. Um, I'll include links in the description if you'd like to check those out. But basically you've got your primary forces here. You can see both going in as this uh, cylinder reaches the bottom dead center. And so those two are, forces are going to cancel each other out. And the secondary forces are going to be pointing away from each other. So those two forces are going to cancel out. Same thing with cylinders one and two as they reach top dead center. All of the forces going out, but they're equal and opposite. So they balance each other out. So your primary and your secondary forces in a boxer engine are going to be balanced out. Now, what's wrong with this uh, setup? What, what negative side is there to this as far as the engine balance? Well, if you look at, you've got to stagger these uh, piston cylinders. So the cylinders are going to be kind of like this, um, and then to up here, a little bit offset. So you can see here the forces acting on this crankshaft, uh, what I've got drawn in blue, is going to create a rocking couple. So the engine's going to kind of want to torque like this uh, and move within the engine compartment. Now you're thinking, okay, well, why not just move this cylinder in and this cylinder out a little bit and then have them opposed and then these moments will cancel each other out and it won't rock. Well, you could do that. Uh, the only thing is you're going to be spacing these cylinders uh, at, at much different spaces and that's also going to increase the overall size of the engine. So to keep things compact, you kind of stagger it uh, and you kind of deal with this rocking couple, which with modern engine isolation and things like that, it's really not going to cause much uh, of a movement of that engine. So, advantages of a boxer engine or a flat four engine. Well, you're going to have primary and secondary forces balanced out. And that's one of the huge things, uh, huge benefits of this engine and reason why you would do it. So, in, in doing that, um, you're going to have a, a smoother running engine, a less vibration, um, and you're also going to, not going to need counterweights on the crankshaft to counteract the piston movement. Now you will still need counterweights for other movements in there, um, but basically you can use a lighter crank, uh, and in doing so, that means you're going to have less uh, mass in that crank, um, so less rotational inertia, and so it can rev up faster uh, and be more responsive. The other massive benefit to flat four engines is the center of gravity is so low. So you take this vertical engine where you've got your piston cylinder device and the uh, an inline engine where the center of gravity is very high and you turn it down so it greatly decreases that center of gravity. And by doing that, I mean the engine is one of the heaviest components in your car and by lowering it, by keeping the center of gravity of that low, you're lowering the overall center of gravity of your vehicle and you're going to have a much better handling car because of having a lower center of gravity. So those are two huge benefits of the flat four engine. In my opinion, it is one of the best designs uh, for an engine um, because of this low CG and the balanced forces. Disadvantages. Well, of course, it's going to be uh, a bit more expensive. All great things are more expensive. Uh, so the manufacturing cost uh, is a bit higher because you've got these two uh, cylinder blocks that you kind of fuse together. Um, and then you've got two cylinder heads, so that's added complexity, those two valve trains. Um, it's also going to be very wide, so uh, as far as space, when you place this within an engine compartment, it's going to take up quite a bit of space, um, and that can make it difficult to work on, especially working on those cylinder heads. Um, and then this rocking couple, like I mentioned, where the engine kind of tweaks back and forth. 
So a great engine overall though, uh, I think one of the best designs out there. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.